After 14 days, 4,177 kilometers and over 43 hours of racing, the bikes is the closest it's been in history. 12 seconds. How close is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That close. Today, we're gonna to start with the least competitive category and end with the most competitive. Bikes will come last, but where first? Cars. No title to play for, but all Dakar fans watching to see if Seb Loeb could become the first driver ever to win six in a row. We're up to second, but Lucas is only a few minutes behind us, so we can't relax just yet. We have to keep attacking, try to post good times, and just get to the finish. And he did. When you consider the greats who have gone before, it's an extraordinary achievement, whatever the particular circumstances this year. Hats off, Seb and Fab. Brilliant BRX. I found a good pace and I'm feeling confident. I'm driving aggressively, but I'm taking care in the broken sections. The car's good, the engine is responding nicely, so it's cool. As for NASA, the Qatari in the car carved through the sand to card the second quickest time, one step from a fifth Dakar of his career. Yeah, it's good uh, for the championship, you know, the point, you know, because uh, Sab every day he takes the chance and to win uh, the stage, but OK, today we finish behind him, uh, the, the different only one point, but OK, uh, uh, for me it's very important, uh, Dakar. Matthias Ekstrom, a fourth straight podium for the Swede and Emil Berkvist in their Audi RSQ e-tron. No relaxing, yes, dunes, 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 and some sharp ones, and uh, it was quite difficult. These guys have 10 years experience, so I have a few more years to catch up. Rookie Lucas Moraes has made the third podium spot his own. He had never driven a rally in sand before last month, so this is a quite brilliant performance from the Brazilian. What might his Dakar future look like, I wonder? We managed, uh, we didn't get stuck, nothing. We managed to just cruise it with the car now, trying to keep this podium position. Leading the two-wheel drive standings for the last nine days. Heartbreak for Brian. Two days to go. Ruined my decor. Unbelievable. Uh. So, so cruel. One hour 21 between first and second, the biggest in the cars for 20 years, but two late Argentinian entries into the top 10, Jacopini and Halpern. After a Demevius meltdown, there's been no contest in the T3s. Mitch Guthrie's tilt at the title toppled a while back, but today he celebrated his fifth special and eighth for the Red Bull Off-Road Juniors. But no one is keeping up with the Joneses. Austin's ninth place today means he just has to finish tomorrow and he'll have done the T4, T3 double. Next, we cross to the quads, where Giroud had a 44-minute advantage in the general over Flores. More interesting, though, Marcelo Medeiros had won three straight stages and was going for a fourth, and he did it. The difference between the Brazilian and Giroud is that the Frenchman has been top six every day. Medeiros had two bad days early doors and lost 29 hours. We, we called every track and uh, we asked for assistance to make uh, I, to take the pieces to here with a bit of Jeep or you shall see, yeah, with ballet, I don't, I don't know. We all have ups and downs at work, but the souls who enter the Dakar have to be ready for bigger ups and much lower downs. When we said on the first day this Dakar is one for the tough guys, we were not joking.
A few days ago, the trucks was as gripping as slicks on dry tarmac, but now it's done for, like Martin van den Brink's gearbox today and one-sided, like Nico Steinen's truck. If some of the big boys' days were tragic, Martin's was magic. He roared home not only to take the special, but also to go second overall. But van den Brink's nightmare is what Yanis's dreams are made of. He's definitely the boss of the class this year, and after Sunday, he's going to change his name from Yanis Van Kasteren to Yanis Truck Kasteren. The second closest category is T4s. At the start of the day, 7 minutes 43 seconds between Rokas, the Bazooka Bashuska, and Eric, the young gun, Goschow. With the 18-year-old winning convincingly today, that gap is now 3.24, and it's up for grabs tomorrow. Last, and absolutely definitely not least, the bikes. Coming into today, it was between three, Skylar Howes, Kevin Benavides, and Toby Price. The good, the rad, and the Aussie. Toby Price, overnight leader by 28 seconds, went off third this morning. He quickly caught Nacho Corneco and Daniel Sanders. Sanders led his fellow Aussie through, so Price could pick up the bonus seconds, which could prove crucial. So Toby, it seems that you, you kept the lead today. <laughs> I don't know yet. Uh, I made one little mistake, um, probably around like 1.30 there, and uh, we went too far right on a cap, and oh, I could just see everything ending there. And um, But if, uh, if I can keep the lead, um, I'll be one happy man. Meanwhile, starting sixth and having lost his advantage on stage 12, Skylar Howes. The American has been so consistent throughout this rally raid, but things have just started to slightly unravel over the past two days. I really gave it my all, and uh, I was pushing really hard in the beginning. I had two crashes, just got stuck in the dunes, kind of went over the bars, which really, really frustrating and annoying when you're really pushing your maximum and then you still have mistakes. I, I really pushed my all and I gave it everything I have. So uh, at the end, like I said, uh, I, I, I will be happy with, with any result I get. I saw Matias on the ground and called the team. We called doctors. So then I ride the helicopters and everything. Um, and then when he was a little bit more calm, he told me to just to, to go because otherwise also I can't. Engaged in a battle for the biggest title in the world, he stopped to look after a teammate. Kevin Benavidez epitomizes the beauty of this sport even at its ugliest moments. He was given that time back and smashed the special. Three riders in one minute after 45 hours of racing, I don't know how many. So yeah, uh, it's, it's crazy. But the race ends when the, on the final line, so tomorrow is the last day. So we need to keep pushing until the last meter. Rally raid is fair, real, inspiring, wonderful, and this is so exciting. We thought it was Skyler versus Toby, but as it turns out, just like in the real world, Howe's prize is crashed and Kevin's making a profit. In original by Motul, Sharan Moore has taken back the lead at a crucial time. So now there's 12 seconds between Benavides and Price and 131 between the leader and Skyler Howe's. Seb Loeb hit the rest for six, five stars for Mitch Guthrie, a fantastic four for Marcelo Medeiros, three minutes gap in the T4s, two categories still up for grabs, one day left, and zero reasons not to love this Dakar.